Hello my lovelies, today get yourself a cup of tea or coffee, whatever you prefer, because today I'm doing a review of my Cartier Panther watch um, and I think this might be a lengthy one because after six months of owning it, I wanted to do an update of what I think about it, the wear and tear of my choice, whether I went for the right size, the right finish, everything you should know about also not getting scammed because I nearly got scammed. <laughs> so I'm going to give you some tips. Um, if you enjoy videos like this about luxury, I also talk about fragrances, subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up and let's go. I'm going to take a sip of coffee. Mm. So I bought my Cartier watch from the Cartier boutique online and I didn't go in to a physical store just because I was buying it during the pandemic so I couldn't really go in but I decided to go with the website itself just for extra safety and I'm going to share with you why. So should I just get this out first so you can kind of see it I also packaged it so you can guys see the beautiful Cartier box that it comes in this is the Cartier Panther in small size in stainless steel and I'm going to show you the journey of this and how I nearly got scammed so you won't be if you are buying this so firstly I was thinking I would like this watch because i know it's kind of trendy now but i've been eyeing this for years i've been obsessed with watches i love watches and in the past i was considering maybe getting a rolex or something like that but to be honest i prefer something a bit more understated and i don't know about you but with rolex i feel like it's got so much just attention to it that I wouldn't feel safe uh, having a Rolex and like I love just running errands by myself I'm by myself all the time I'm an introvert so I love being by myself uh, and I wouldn't feel safe this is a bit more understated so that is why I started researching more about whether I should get brand new or whether I should go for vintage and used and as you know with any popular piece like Chanel bag or Cartier Panther there's so many fakes out there i was astounded so i went on this year collective and i started researching this watch because i thought this year seems like a place to buy it it's like it, they just talk about authenticity that they have got authentic stuff they um if you want you can get an authenticity check before the item reaches you after you've bought it and I thought okay for sure they wouldn't let something on the website that wasn't authentic but as I was researching it and what the watch should look like I realized that there isn't a real Cartier Panther on the website I couldn't find one that was real no joke and you know I did quite a bit of research I love watches so I knew that I don't remember right now what year it was but after a certain year Cartier stopped um, putting only Swiss on the inside of this watch here it's a Swiss made at the bottom um, and they only put Swiss made so <laughs> you would see a watch that was after this period and it would have only Swiss on the inside of the watch so you, you thought okay this is not the right thing Cartier hasn't uh, was putting Swiss made by this point on their watches or at the back um, the for example the Cartier logo was engraved not deep enough so it would like come off because it looked vintage but it was a fake because Cartier like if you see the precision of a real watch you see that it would never be just like filed off it's just not possible everything is in perfect uh, line and nothing is wonky there was lots of wonky uh, fonts at the back of the watch the um, the way that it said water resistant they would switch words different things like that I would check against um, professional advice of what to look for which I found online and I'll link it down below if you're looking for them and I looked on fashion file I looked on 
ex dupes I looked on Vestiaire and no kidding I couldn't find a watch that was real some of it uh, some even had authenticity cards which obviously were fake because there was just so many things wrong with the watches so I was just appalled I thought if I'm spending that much money on a watch I don't want to be duped <laughs> I don't want uh, that gravity of like getting something and thinking it's real and then realizing someday it's not. That would be just terrible and I'm somebody who just prefers to go safe rather than just doing something and thinking oh, I'll be fine. You know, if I wasn't sure I wasn't going to buy it. So be careful, <laughs> I'm giving you a word of advice. There's just, I haven't found a watch second hand that is real. If you have found a watch that is real, <laughs> well done to you because I wasn't able to do it at all. So that is why I went to Cartier and purchased this from there because then at least I know it's real. So now I want to share with you what comes with the watch so you kind of know once you get it because one of the items were miss missing in my parcel. So if that happens to you, you know that you can get it. So it comes even when you order it online. They give you a Cartier bag, which is really nice. The whole box is, I kept it all. I'm a sucker for packaging. The whole box is packaged in this lovely white thick paper with the Cartier seal on it. Um, so you've got a return kind of form in this little like folder which is very thick paper which is very nice I love I just I love stationery um, and then you've got a return form and uh, you've got your Cartier receipt I'm not going to show you <laughs> because my address would be there um, and you get also on the receipt it uh, says your serial number so that is quite important to keep just in case if something happens to it. It's under warranty for I think two and a half years or something. So if something happens to it, you've got that. And I always keep full of my luxury items, everything because the resale value is much better. Not that I'm going to be selling it anytime soon, but I always do. Even with stuff like Dyson and stuff. And then you get a box that I just opened, very nice Cartier, it's everything, like if you get anything from Cartier and you think something is off, something is not straight, like the um, there's bleeding in the font or something, the foiling is off, it's probably not Cartier because everything is perfect, it's sharp, it's perfect. You get the beautiful box, so that is the box that it comes with and the watch is inside and I don't know where did I put the box. Oh, the watch. Not very good. I should probably put it on so I don't lose it. <laughs> and the watch comes with quite a lot of links so it's quite loose and you can keep it that way or you can go to an authorized uh, store to get it shortened and they've got a list of those stores um, online at Cartier so you can ask them by email or you can just search online but it's there and I went to one and they just did it in like two minutes so it's easy and what I didn't get is the pouch the travel pouch which I saw in other reviews that other people who went into stores and got their Cartier watch didn't get so uh, did get I didn't get it and I was like hmm should I reach out to Cartier and I just emailed them and I said this is my order number I didn't get a travel pouch and I travel quite a lot uh, and I saw that some people were getting it with their order and they said no problem we'll just send one to you so if you don't get a pouch of your order you can just reach out to Cartier and they're really nice and they just send you one and this is you might think oh my gosh like you're so high maintenance why do you need a pouch but to be honest like I've used it so much uh, for traveling when you're at the airport and you want to take off your watch and you don't want it to get scratched I just put it in there it's got like a little poof in there and I've got my extra links in there I use it so much or if I just don't want to have it on or if, if I'm suddenly like I don't know I'm going on a walk and my dog has gotten wet and I need to like clean him just quickly popping this in my bag and watch in there so it's really easy really really helpful to take a sip because I am talking a lot this watch hasn't been made to be fashion trendy I know it now is kind of a trendy watch but 
the person that designed it it wasn't meant to be a fashion watch it was meant to be timeless and to me in general in my fashion sense that is what i want to do i love for example this cashmere turtleneck because it will stand the test of time it's like a classic piece it's a good material and for me i wanted a watch that would be the same that i could just wear for years to come also um it is extremely light so i don't even feel it i used to have this michael kors watch it was like huge you know those that used to be trendy like i think seven years ago so i would be like oh my gosh this watch is so heavy but this i don't even feel which i just love it also it's so thin it's the thinnest watch i have ever seen so it just slides um underneath your jacket your blouses anything like that which is nice because it, it just that's another thing you can't feel it it's just a part of you and another thing that i love and you might also love if you're looking to watch this uh, looking to buy this watch it is a jewelry piece and a watch at the same time which i like so it's elegant and the links they shine and they look like jewelry piece but at the same time it's a watch and i love that hybrid and uh, to me for example like something like rolex it's a bit more flashy and it's a watch whereas this to me it's a jewelry piece and it's beautiful it's got also a sapphire stone on the side it's a blue obviously it's blue it's sapphire um but it shines nicely in the sun it's beautiful it's also got navy sapphire hands um, and everything i look at this watch quite a lot because i wear it quite often everything is just perfect and yeah i just love the art of watch making the whole watch is just done stunning that you really get what you pay for and even more because comparing to other watches this is actually not a bad price for a luxury watch for history that cartier has it's not bad and it's not a price that is huge they keep the prices the same. Uh, I know with Rolex the prices go crazy and the availability is very scarce whereas with Cartier you don't have to play those stupid games uh, you know to get a watch or buy a couple before you buy the one that you really want which I just don't like those games. I find them so stupid so I like that also and it's understated. Many people will see it and I've gotten compliments on this watch and I know that people that compliment me on this watch didn't have a clue it was a Cartier watch and I like that I don't like flashy pieces and another thing is that the steel version I wanted to get the two-tone version but in the end I opted for this one because I find it casual it's very casual I wear it nearly every single day and it's easy to wear <laughs> and I'm weird about stuff because I love gold jewelry as you can see but with my wedding band and my watch I like um, steel or like silver pieces I don't know why but it's a bit more timeless to me and I would say if you're going for something more understated more every day the stainless steel is just nice and casual I think the gold one brings more attention and it's a bit more of like this evening attire piece the wear and tear of this watch so I've worn it nearly every single day for six months now. So it's quite a lot and I don't really baby it. I'm not a person that, I'm so clumsy so I don't baby any watches or any jewelry. I just scratch everything. Yeah, I'm just not good at this. And it does have some scratches, especially at the front here, some on the bracelet. Um, but if you look far like this, you can't see anything. So I would say for how much i'm using it for being a luxury i think it's quite good it's very good actually because i have banged it on things my dog has attacked it literally when he plays he sometimes like does this with his paws and it doesn't look like it's worn at all and i think it will stand the test of time it's very good i've heard that the gold is softer so that will get more scratches so if you're thinking of wearing 
um, this every day, I would say that stainless steel is much better because it's going to scuff, like you can't just avoid it. You might just baby it like, I don't know what, but with this one, you can't really tell. Um, with gold, I've seen some pieces that look more, more worn just because um, it's a gold piece. So I'd say every day, still special occasion gold or the mixed one. So overall, I will say that I love this watch. I would buy it again. Maybe this time I would buy it from Selfridges or somewhere like that because they've got also like authentic pieces uh, and it would have faster shipping. <laughs> That's good and I would get some points. Even though it's trendy now, if you're thinking of buying it, I would say go for it because I think that probably Cartier will put their prices up because this version of the watch and the men's one uh, they are going crazy at the moment online and I think the just prices, I, I would pay more for this watch uh, just because it's so beautiful and the heritage of the brand so they probably will put some prices up so if you're thinking about it I would say it's totally worth it I was hesitant kind of to spend that much money on a watch but I can tell you that I wear it all the time it's so easy to wear and the wear and tear isn't bad at all. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. A link to, if I find any real used pieces, I'll link to them below and I'll link that article also what to look out for when you're looking for an authentic Cartier Panther watch. And follow me on Instagram at monica underscore choch, C-I-O-C-H. Um, there I post a bit more about my outfits, my life, fragrances and stuff like that. So I'll see you there. Bye.